I think it's important to clearly state that there is a condition that must be present in order for the repair process to work. It's repentance, where the sin is addressed and where the other person agrees to turn from that sin. And that's especially true where there's been a severe breach of trust. We have a choice for reconciliation to happen or not, just like we saw with God in the Old Testament, where sin increases, His presence decreases. And that makes sense in our human-to-human relationships as well, both in our relationship with the Lord and with others. In order for the rip to be repaired, we have to cooperate with that reconciliation process. To do that, sin must be addressed. Where sin goes unaddressed and people aren't cooperative with the repair process, reconciliation will be more and more challenging. Do we see this condition of repentance being required in the reconciliation process with our relationship with God? Yes. Jesus has done His part to offer salvation, but we have to do our part to receive Him as Lord of our life in order for the reconciliation to take place. If we refuse, then we will remain in relational separation. The same is true in our human-to-human relationships. We can offer our willingness to reconcile and rebuild trust, but the other person has to cooperate or healthy reconciliation will not be possible. So here's some questions to ask yourself. Is this person being humble or prideful? Are they repentant and owning their actions or being stubborn and refusing to acknowledge their wrongdoing? Do they care about how their actions affected you? Are they seeking forgiveness? Do they have a spirit of care and compassion toward you? Keep in mind the severity of the rip or breach of trust is important. I have several friends who have found Jesus and help for their alcohol addiction through AA, Alcoholics Anonymous. They have a saying that makes so much sense to me, especially when it comes to rips and repairs with trust. Nine miles in, nine miles out. This means if it took you nine miles to get into this mess, it will take you nine miles to get out of this mess. In context of what we're talking about with repairing trust, this means to the extent that trust is broken is the extent that it needs to be repaired. But let's also look at everyday rips that need to be repaired in our relationships. Maybe these aren't huge breaches of trust, but if left unaddressed over time, can cause simmering resentments and eventually tear two people apart. Maybe this person is consistently late or disrespecting the schedule you were counting on them keeping. Maybe they spend money the two of you had previously agreed to save. Or they made plans with you, but then let other things take precedence and acted like it was just no big deal. How do we have the conversations about repairing these smaller rips? After all, talking about this stuff is not fun. And sometimes we fear, or I guess I should say, I fear that even if I try to address an issue with a friend or a loved one, it'll only make things worse or cause more tension. 